fellow health enthusiasts, I am Dr. Elena Ronchese and I am a master certified pharmacist based in the northeast of Italy. And today we're going to talk about the best methods to beat anxiety once and for all. Without further ado, let's get into it. Anxiety disorders are common, burdensome and costly to individuals and wider society. In addition to the profound negative impact on individuals' well-being and functioning, they are associated with worsened physical health, including a higher risk for cardiovascular disease and premature mortality. We all know that exercise is beneficial. We hear it all the time. But what does that mean exactly? First, let's break down the effects briefly. Exercise reduces stress, increases happiness, lowers the level of sadness and loneliness, both in the short and in the long run. It can prevent depression and anxiety, and it can be as effective as pharmacological treatments. What's more, training for 30 to 60 minutes a day is associated with more than than 40% reduction in depression and anxiety. How can someone get more active? It's actually very simple. Just follow these three key points. First, find out what you enjoy the most, then set achievable goals and stick with them. Why does exercise have such positive effects on the body? Well, exercise boosts your production of endorphins that help you relax, feel less pain, and reduces the stress hormone, which is cortisol. Exercise boosts your brain to increase dopamine and serotonin, which are chemicals responsible of making you feel happy, and it can improve self-esteem and self-worth. Recent epidemiological data further suggest that people who are more active may be less likely to have anxiety disorders. In addition, evidence from systematic reviews of randomized control trials suggests that exercise training can reduce symptoms in anxiety and stress-related disorders such as post-traumatic stress disorder, agoraphobia and panic disorder. Given the combined anxiolytic and physical health benefit of increased activity, exercise presents a promising additional treatment option for people with anxiety disorder. Exercise seems most helpful for treatment-resistant depression, unipolar depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. Also, yoga and mindfulness-based meditation have been studied. Particularly, yoga therapy shows positive effects for depression, anxiety disorders, and panic disorder. Mindfulness-based meditation, which is defined as a form of mental training that requires calming the mind with the goal of achieving a state of detached observation, has a positive effect on depression and its effects can last for six months or more. Why is that? Because mindfulness is an act in which attention is paid to the present moment and living the experience of each moment without judgment. In this way, mindfulness-based training reduces symptoms of anxiety and stress. That's all for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're new here, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss another video from me. And remember, stay strong, stay healthy. See you guys very soon.